Shata Wale is one of the biggest artists coming out of Ghana. He has previous beef with Stoneboy, Sarkodie, and also Charterhouse. Shata Wale has been able to mix the two reggae, dancehall, and Afro beats into one pot. Nonetheless, he's one of the biggest artists in Africa, Ghana. Welcome to the story of Afro beats. I'm your host, Mr. Montgomery, and today I'm going to be documenting the story of one of Ghana's biggest artists. Shata Wale, Shata Wale guys, um, a lot of you have uh, requested for this one, make sure you comment below who you want me to do next, follow me on my socials as well man, ladies, I'm single man, I'm looking for a fine, a fine girl, now I'm joking, that just sounds too much, but anyway, follow me on my socials, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on this video as well, and check out the other ones I've done, this is a news channel as well, so I do a lot of news stories, check it out, but without talking too much, Let's get straight into this. Charles Knight Armour Mensa was born on the 17th of October 1984 in Accra, Ghana. He has two sisters and he's his father's junior. He attended Datas Preparatory School, then attended Waniba Secondary School. He co-joined another singer and artist, Duke Thompson, as they became an entertaining group. Duke now with the group D2, but then using the stage name Doggy. He changed his name to Bandana after senior high school and in 2004, he released his first track, Bandana from Ghana. He often spoke about his dad funding him and supporting him, while his dad was his biggest fan at this time and his dad funded his first video and his first music song. The song made tremendous airways in Ghana and after this he met his ex-wife Shatamishi, who she states they had sex on the first night. Then in 2007, he went out and put music with songs like Telephone Number. After that, he released his first album entitled Bandana from Ghana. Then in 2008, he featured on Reels Mama Africa. After this, he would drop songs like Antasia and Last Night and Mokoho. During this time, nobody would record with him, so he decided to record himself. So he bought himself a laptop, built a studio, and wrote his songs and recorded himself and other people. He was often getting bookings, but he wasn't getting paid. So much so that promoters used to lie to him about how much he would get paid. He would get there and he wouldn't get a dime. As time would go on, he wasn't getting as much buzz as Bandana. So he decided to change his name to Shatawale. He started dropping tons of tunes with songs like Havana, One Girl and also he jumped on a remix of Mavado, Dema Pri. Then in 2012, he would drop tunes like Ice Cream, Through Me, Fawa Wa Me. He created his own collective group called the Shatter Movement, SM or SM for Life. In 2013, that would be the beginning of his road to success as he would drop the song Dance All King, which would get over 2 million views. He will later drop Everybody Likes My Ting at the end of the year, which will get him a nomination at the Ghana Awards for the Best Reggae and Dancehall Artist. In 2014, he will drop traps like I Am Blessed and Wine Your Waist featuring DeVito. He would later go on a US tour and during the Christmas of 2014, Shatawale took the opportunity to visit Kulubu Teaching Hospital, Ghana's biggest hospital to donate generously to children's block worth of thousands given. He would pick up his first Ghana Music Award that year. On July 2015, Shatawale would become a father to his son, Prince Majesty. He later dropped tax like here like Hold It and Get That From. Shatawale asked to not be nominated in the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards even though he could have won the prestigious Artist Award that year. He had songs like Dancehall Commando featuring Sakodie and Party All Night Long featuring Javinci. He picked up two awards that year. This was nothing compared to the 36 award nominations and 20 award wins later. 
In 2016, he dropped his album After the Storm with tracks like Kai Kai, Beja, and his biggest song to date, Chop Kiss, which has many remixes. Well, you know the rest of the story because this is the story of Afrobeats and this is the story of Chateauwale, guys. I've done Sakodie. I'm gonna do R2Bs, gonna do Stormboy. Let me know who you want me to do next. I've done Wizkid, Mr. Easy, Patoranki. I've done a lot of people. Make sure you go and check it out, guys. Follow me on my social media as well. I'm gonna be doing top 10 songs or top five. Top 10 is too much. Top five songs of the month, at the end of this month. Um, let me know what other features you guys want because this is a news channel, I do news stories. I'm the African DJ Academics, but until next time, guys, take care. Obviously,